Let's go. The Kutim Aran with Torah that we are holding by Torah Chafer. Torah, I'm sorry. Torah, yeah, Torah Chafer. No, no, no. Torah Chafdal. Yes, we are holding by Torah Chafdal. We actually uh, finished. We actually finished the 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 Mahalach, the process of the particular Torah. Who wrote this? Rabbi Nachman. No, Rabbi Nachman. Well, the, where it says Lashon of Ben Uzal, this is where he got he got the Torah b'ksav from Rabbi Yes. Anytime that. Rabbi Nachman never wrote anything. That's, that's what I heard. That was the impression that I had. Rizal didn't write anything. No, no. Nachman wrote, first of all, the one sefer which is completely from, you know, from no. manuscript, is Sefer Amidos. Amidos Rabbi Nachman. Yes, that's he, but he wrote he was six years old. That's the, the first part. Six. Yeah, the six. first part, Chalek Aleph and Chalek Bet, he wrote when he was already like, <coughs> there. The Aran, the Kutim Aran, Every single Torah uh, <coughs> was either written by Rabbi Nachman himself, at which case you see in the beginning of the Torah it says, Lashon Rabbi Nozal. And on those particular Torahs, uh, every single letter was in place many times. Rabbi would 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 blot out a few words in the middle, which were very necessary to understanding the Indian. But <clears throat> it was a balance of what to put in and what not to put in, what the world is ready for, what the world is not ready for. This is... Was Rav Nachman married? Of course. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the terms which is not say Lashon Rabbi Nazal, Rabbi Nosen wrote them, then he brought them to Rabbi Nachman, and he went over them. Oh, Rabbi Nachman was still alive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I always thought it was Rabbi Nachman didn't write it. Rabbi Nachman was with him always. Like no, the no, 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 no. He saw every single tear that Rabbi Nachman wrote. He saw I, I, and, and, I had the same impression like you. No, and he improved and corrected whenever it needed to, to be corrected. Yeah, still in his lifetime. Yeah, before die, before die, all the tears. I thought everything was done after Rabbi no, 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 no. The, the, the first part of the Kutaman was printed on the baby by Rabbi Nachman was still alive. It's the second part, you know, that was published after, after his passing. But he saw every single Torah. Every single Torah was... Uh, right. so, so, no, everything, everything is, is, is original. How many Torah followers did he have hmm? in his lifetime? How many followers did he have? It, it changed at the very end. He had, I think, a few oh. hundreds. He had a few hundreds at, at the very end. No, but wherever you went... <clears throat> But sadly, like he was known, he was known as one of the tzaddikim of the generation. You know, as, as like a brother of Meshivos, the Balatanya, he he was one of the, you know, all those, all those, uh, 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 you know, it's not like today when a rabbi has like like twenty thousand chassidim or whatever it is. It, that wasn't the situation then. You know, a big rabbi, somebody who had a thousand people, you know, five hundred people. You know, that, yeah, that was state, <coughs> small. Was state, and, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. But anyhow, after Rabbeinu was mystolic, it dwindled to the point, I think, that there remained only four. Really? Only yes. four Hasidim stay? You know, after he passed, after he passed away, he was a four or something, or ten or whatever, whatever it is, and then he started building up again mm-hmm. and got 40,000 people in Newman every year. Thanks for so, what? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so what we will do is, what we will do is, uh, being that, yes, I'm recording this, uh, being that uh, we have finished the Mahalach of, of, of the Torah, and we're going to see how uh, that process is embedded and alluded to. So, did he get his information? When, when people speak of this, many, many, I'm telling you, 30 years ago, I, I used to study for whatever it was, Kabbalah. But then my question is, you know, where is the information coming? It can only come from Ruach HaKodesh. There's no other way. So was he operating from Ruach HaKodesh? 
whole the, the, the definition of Ruach HaKodesh is a spirit of wisdom that comes from Kodesh. So obviously all the tzaddikim were massing, whatever they were massing. So when you're saying Ruach HaKodesh, uh, it, I'm, it I'm, is, I'm, what I'm talking about Ruach HaKodesh yes. is, is, is obtaining knowledge not through our normal way of getting oh, the knowledge. Oh, when we, when it, if, if you look at Tur Hafalev, uh, in the internet, in, in YouTube, in, in, uh, in my channel, you know, the Shurim, you'll understand how to do that yourself. You're absolutely correct. There are two ways of, of attaining knowledge. You know, one of them is called Kedem, one of them is called Achor. You know, one of them is called Front, and one of them is, is called Behind. Behind is, is uh, where you say 2 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. You build it from below. That's a natural way of learning. There is a, a way of learning which is called Kedem, whereas you prepare the vessel and you get the, the Chochmah from above automatically. It just flows in, it rushes in, and it's way, way beyond anything that you can, you can build from. And so what you're saying is, you know, your intuition is very healthy. It's, 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 um, so <clears throat> what I would like to uh, 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 do today is just with your permission, yeah. and since yesterday I just discovered the, the, <coughs> the problem with the way that, <coughs> that I was recording the, the, the last third, so I, th I think that it's, been, <coughs> it's worth repeating. Okay? We're saying that, that there are lights, there are hasagas, there are uh, intellectual achievements, attainments, which are beyond Nefesh Ruach and Neshama. Nefesh Ruach and Neshama are the human, uh, the stages of human uh, uh, essence, spiritual, intellectual, emotional, you know, from the very fundamental nefesh, which is the vitality of the body, which animals also have, you know, through the ruach, you know, which represents the, 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 the cognizant level of the human intellect, both from emotional point of view and intellectual point of view. And then you're talking about the level of neshama. The neshama is the highest level of spirituality that still has a direct contact with the body. It's a tenuous contact. It's only the very bottom of the of the of the of the neshama, which touches the body, which is in the body. Most of it is beyond the body already. The neshama already talks about uh, 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 the, the, the human uh, awareness or mental capacity, for lack of other word, uh, to achieve uh, intimate knowledge of HaKadosh Baruch uh, beyond that, you have Chaya and Yechida, which are, you know, way, 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 way beyond, you know, it's, uh, it's the, these are, we're talking about different degrees, different very degrees uh, of unification with which we are one with infinity. Okay, now, so the Ebbe says, you know, when you're talking about Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, these, these are levels you know, that depending on your degree of personal sanctity, okay, you can achieve, you can achieve a sagas, you know, commensurately with how much you sanctify yourself. There are his sagas which are beyond Nefesh Ruch and Neshama, which is our ends of, it's is the life of infinity that cannot be encompassed by any human level of, 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 of perception uh, and even those 
And even though this is what this story is about, even those are, they're not attainable, but they are touchable. You can touch them. And obviously touching them changes you. You know, in, 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 in a way that, that can never be undone. You're basically touching infinity. And we said that, that the Hasaga, the attainment of these Madragas, is, is bivchinas, what we call mate velo mate. You get it and you don't get it. And we gave the example of trying to quieten your, your, your thought process before, before you, one is trained in meditation. You know, you can train yourself so that, you, that you'll be able to do that, but before you're trained, if you try to stop your thought, it can only happen for a second or two, and then, you know, you're out of it. You're thinking, I'm not thinking, you know, but you're already thinking. So it's, you can only go in and out, in and out. So those levels, but this is just because, you know, you're not good at it yet. You know, if you keep on practicing, you'll be able to stay in this state of not thinking longer. You know, and, and the, whole, the whole basis of Sefer Yetzirah, the book of creation, is based upon that ability, you know, to concentrate on that state. And, of, and, and then, you know, then you're talking about Seamus, this is Avram Avinu, that's the main expertise of Avram Avinu. Uh, that's the union of the creation of, of a golem. The creation of a golem is not making just making, you know, uh, uh, a creature that is made out of mud. A creation of a golem is basically a creation as a spiritual creation. You know, that enables you to, 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 to get things that you cannot get with your own body. But anyhow, to cut the long story short, as they say. The way, yes, <laughs> the way to get there, the way to get there, this mati velo mati, getting and not getting, this earth and stuff is, the process starts like this. You have this fears, you know, which starts from, from below, going up. You have the malchus. Malchus is a muna, malchus is deed, malchus is feet on the ground. Above that, you have the netzachod yesod. Netzachod yesod when, you know, in the, 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 the personification of the, the spheres, uh, the Netzach HaDesod are the walking elements. These are the legs and the Oisbris Kodesh. Above them, you have the Chesed Gvurat Tiferes. These are the, 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 the things that take and give. The chesed is giving, the gvura is taking or blocking giving. The tiferes is the combination of the two, which enables you to gauge how much you give and how much you block in accordance with the ability of whoever it is that you're giving to, to contain. You can very easily overwhelm or starve, you know, if you're not gauging properly, okay? But that's, that's the... the, the Beyond that, you have the Moichin. You have the Seichel, which is Chochmah Bin Adas. And above that, there's the Keser. The Keser is above the Chochmah Bin Adas. It's above it. So we, we, we said it, you know, many times before. The, the Keser is the promise that everything that follows it is going to happen. We're going to have a Shia this morning. That's the Kesser of this year, okay? So, so the, 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 the going up towards those you know, in, uh, 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 unfathomable lights starts with the Malchus. You're doing the mitzvahs b'simcha. When you're doing the mitzvahs b'simcha, the mitzvahs have two parts. It has a body and like everything. It has a body and it has a soul. The body of the, of the mitzvah is the Maisa mitzvah. 
the soul of the mitzvah is the emuna that you have. That this is what according to Kodesh Baruch Hu wants. Obviously, <coughs> the more emuna you have in the mitzvah, the more simcha you have. The happier you are that you are zoicha to be mekayim the mitzvah. So when you're mekayim the mitzvah the simcha, you know, you're infusing the malchus with life. What happens is that it, it raises, it ascends, and it is malvish the level above it, which is netzach uh, yesod. The walking instrument. The walking instrument, once you infuse them with godliness, once you put them with the soul, with the simcha, they do what any machine does. They do their purpose. They go and they awaken all the oil of the You know, that's, that's, that's what they do. Is any of this allowed to be shared with non-Jews? Or is it only for Jews? But time is, let's share it with Jews. And no, that isn't my question. My question was, <laughs> I, you, you know, I, I, you're asking me a question that's... Hmm? Why not? I don't, I don't know. If I knew, I, 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 I I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure, but let's... Yeah. No, because I can tell you, in Costa Rica, they have uh, Kabul. Kabbalah yeah, yeah, that's, 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 where they go and get together and they study, yeah. and they study Kabbalah. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 uh, We'll touch upon that a little bit, but but the the the, the, the is, you know, the Raglaim go ahead and, and, and wake up all the oil of Hashem, and they go in that malbish the yadaim, which is chesed gvurat tiferes, and it brings that about Yitzhak and Yaakov. I mean, the, we, yes, the yes, yes. That's that's the, the so so that brings about bracha. The hands are the instruments right. of bracha. Now, when the bracha is excited into a Vedic Hashem, you know, when a bracha is, stops being just a matter of how can I fill my stomach a bit more, what happens is that you realize that the greatest bracha you can have is das, is seichel. Hmm. Seichel, and the main seichel is that yanat doing the mitzvahs, you know, just because you're afraid of the Oynish, which is essential to understand, and it is the gateway to avoid this Hashem. The Bible says, yes, the Oynish is the gateway, that's the key. You can't get into avoid this Hashem without being scared of what happens, you know, if you don't. You know, if you don't. That, that's point number one. All the lofty, the burim, whatever it is, that comes next. First of all, you don't cross the street without looking left and right and left again. And no, no two ways about it. Okay? <laughs> when I was uh, crossing the street in London, I looked the wrong way. <laughs> I, I got hit by a car. Yeah, yes. Oh, oh man. Okay. <laughs> so, so, this is the start of everything. Forget where you were. What? Forgot where you were. Uh, oh, uh, it was, it was, beyond uh, that, beyond that, once you have a break as a seichel, you got a bracha of the seichel, which means the seichel is coming down. The seichel, in its nature, is a wild bronco. Okay? It will go anywhere. You know, unbridled, it'll just, it'll just run. That's what it does best. That's what tigers do best, right? They'll just... So what you need to do, you need to harness it. You, but you need to harness it like harnessing any power, you need to harness it in a productive way, which means you have to block it where it needs to be blocked and you have to let it go where you need to let it go. This is how you use energy, you know, to accomplish what you need to accomplish. This harness is the Kesser, okay? And we mentioned the Kesser, you know, with a shtitl pet theory of mine, which Rabbi Eliyahu said that makes <coughs> sense. Uh, he said that it makes sense. So, which is, at least we know it makes sense. It still doesn't mean that it's true. But it makes sense. Uh, and that is that the, the, the formation of the Kesser, the formation of the, of the Kesser, is a, a, a composite of 
the inner light of the Malchus of the world above the one you're at. Malchus is a Muna, right? Everything is possible. That's. I thought Malchus was on the ground. Yes, but the Malchus of the world above you, yeah. Malchus is a Muna. Muna means you can believe in anything. You can encompass things in your Muna that your intellect cannot perceive. Yes, I get that. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, you can also, you can also use it, you know, Rabbi Ankemir Shechter once said, what is the difference between emuna and superstition? And he said that superstition is a muna which is underneath the das. You know, it's, it's, you, don't even, you don't even get to the das, Bechlal. The das is not involved, with, like, you didn't even right. reach das. Yeah. You believe, you just look at, he says, a muna, on the other hand, this is the level which is above the seichel. Is whereas this is, by the way, I'll share with you a little bit of, 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 of a, a chiddush nifla that I heard from Nossen Liebermensch, Shlita, and he said as follows. We said in last week's parsha, you know, we said in last week's parsha, which says, Ubelev kol chacham lev. You know, what is Chochmas Lev? What is the wisdom of the heart? We know wisdom is in the Maya, right? It's in the brain. What is the, what is the wisdom of the heart? So he said, basically, a person, I mean, it doesn't matter where, where the, 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 the actual physical, mechanical action is taking place. When we are saying... Heart, we mean, <clears throat> you know, what you would want to call maybe emotional intelligence, whatever it is, but the, 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 the capacity of what we call heart. When we're talking about brain, we're talking about moich, we're talking about the ability to comprehend, to understand, which means the ability to define. Okay, now, the seichel is a cold instrument. It can judge big, small, Bigger, smaller, right, wrong, true, false. What you say can do, it can do. What cannot do, you can whistle, you can whistle Dixie until the cows come home, all hell. Sechel doesn't get it. It has its goal. Cool. Now, the heart, the heart wants. There's no gvul, there's no there's no boundaries to the heart. This says the 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 the, 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 says the the entire world cannot encompass, you know, the heart of kings, because he's, you know a king in his own heart, the king of the world has the whole heart of the whole world in his heart. You see, it's 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 you know, it's it's like people don't realize. I, I don't want to veer that, but it's just an interesting thing about 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 great people, you know the, uh, but. Kola kula, you know, the chalolosh and malchus, the heart of 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 malchus. The question is, what leads what? In Chabad, it is very big. Is the mind is the seichel leading the heart, or the heart is leading the seichel? Okay. If the heart, like we have in the world today <coughs> is leading the seichel so the heart wants and the seichel follows the heart basically making what the heart wants possible you know I want fancier phone I want a fancier car I want to have more money I want to have more power I want to have more of this I want to have more of that and I want and I want and I want what happens is it forms a relationship whereas the mind becomes subordinate to the heart, which means the mind's, the seichel's function becomes to explain why what your heart covets is the right thing to do. Anything is open. Anything is open. Oh, the only thing you need is just a good excuse. Just a good, you know, just with the, let the mind sit there, a good lawyer, fix it up, you find the justification for it. You know? 
You know, today the world is shedding morality. It's just shedding it just by the wayside. Every, there's no more there's no more blushing anymore. You know, there's either it's one hundred percent or it's a crime and Kadugma site. But there's nothing in the middle. There's no gray in the middle. It's either this or that. Okay? So today, today, you can do absolutely anything. You know, but when you just well, the sky's the limit. I mean, the gutter is the limit. I mean, there's it, but whatever it is, but there's still certain things which are considered to be when if you step over there, like pedophilia and things like that, this is this is that's it. This is yeah, like this is a crime, okay. And I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now that the next step is they will make that also, okay. It will start by changing a name. You know, they'll change the name. In America, they're very good at changing names. Instead of calling it pedophilia, they'll call it pedosexual. That's just, just, they'll just, just, just change the name. That's what, it, it, you know, it's, 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 and then they'll start coming up with theories. The mind will start explaining why it's, it's good for them, for the children. For the children, okay? And then they'll say that it's okay to marry animals. They'll say that it's okay to marry animals. And then the Seicha will say, excuse me, what, did you, what, what is more Rahman is there? To slaughter them and eat them or to marry them? I mean, come on. What, I mean, they'll get I can there. See it, yeah. Yeah, you can see it. I mean, the, as, when the mind follows the heart, the mind becomes the servant of the heart to explain why whatever the heart wants is good. On the other hand, when the mind is the leader, when your mind tells you this is good, this is not good, this is right, this is wrong, somebody who is smarter than me, I should listen to him, you know. And Hashem gave us the Torah through Moshe Rabbeinu, you know, in front of everybody. And the Kodesh Baruch Hu says, everybody will see that I'm talking to you. Right? Which means that everybody will know that you are smarter than them because you're. They saw you talking to me. So you're supposed to listen to all, you know, the, the Messiah of, of Nusina Satera. All right, so when the heart is being dragged, kicking and screaming after the brain, after a while what happens is that the heart changes. The heart is being educated and it becomes a safe a, a heart, what it means that the heart gets used to wanting only that which the Seichel says is good. At that particular point in time, the heart can perceive things that the mind cannot. The heart is already harnessed and it's educated. It only wants what the mind says is good. And what the heart can get, the mind cannot get, because the mind is limited. Then, then the heart can be massive, that which is way beyond the seichel. This is the left called chacham lev nasati chachma. That's the chachma salev. After you know, we think you know the, the neviim were you know like you know, like trippers, you know, like a, <laughs> yeah, the neviim were people whose koyach medame was so clean, was so absolutely devoid of any fantasy that what they imagined is the truth, which is beyond any seichel. The seichel says, well, you can see, you can see, you know, so this is what it's about. We need to stop now here. We need to, to continue tomorrow.